Hi, thanks for joining. Uh, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to show you uh, two projects that I created for um, two of my clients. Um, so right here is the case management solution. And uh, real quickly, um, basically all it is is you create a case file and the case file um, creates a document set. Once you create a case file, it creates a document set. And then within that document set, you can then upload your documents. Um, the original template was a, is a template developed by Microsoft called Case Management. And then that was in 2007. And then another company upgraded it um, to 2010. And that's one that I'm using. Um, but I think I made it a little bit better. Um, instead of using document libraries, it's using document sets. Instead of using columns, it's using the term store. And I've also added for the client, um, there is a record declaration, there is um, a record routing automatically, and there's a lot of other little things that I added for the client. But for this particular demo, I'm just going to show you the case file portion of it. Um, so I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to go to one that actually has some information in it. And so basically how it works is you create a case and when you create a case it creates a document set or essentially a case file and what you can then do is you can upload documents to this case file and pretty much you can use this as a full-fledged case management solution if that's something that you need within your organization and so once you upload a document um, it'll then prompt you to fill out information and that information is connected to a term store and so I just have a couple of information just some dummy information here and you could just upload it or update the information and once you click save the information is saved with that metadata and um, how you what else you can do with this is you can also assign tasks and uh, discussions to a particular case file so all you would do is you click on the case file details up here and what this will bring up is it'll bring up a little dashboard and as you can see I have a couple of uh, discussions and uh, tasks already associated with this um, particular case file um, so basically this is the bulk of the solution it's basically a solution that allows you to um, submit cases, create your cases, and keep everything condensed within that particular case file or in this place, in this situation, a document set. And what I did was I updated it to 2013. So if you haven't noticed, this is actually 2013. I'm using the 2010 master page um, for now just to show you how the case was a case solution was originally created. Um, but what I can do is I can quickly upgrade this and then I can show you how it looks in 2013. So if we go here, and I'll, I'll log out. And basically what I'm trying to do is I'm going to upgrade this site right now. And then I'm going to continue on with the demo. And, and so here we are. This is our portal or case management portal in SharePoint 2013 with the custom uh, look and feel applied to it or one of the default templates or look and feels comes with SharePoint 2013. And so just to reiterate, um, it's the exact same case system just upgraded from 2010 to 2013. You can click on the links as before and get into your case file. Um, this one has uh, no documents attached to it, but again, here we can look at the case file details and it'll open up the dashboard, much the same that we saw in 2010. And we can then, you know, create new discussions or um, add new tasks to this particular case file. Um, if we so chose and so pretty much that's the bulk of the case management solution that I created for them and again the biggest pieces was um, simply the document set retrofitting the case file um, template with a document set look and feel or functionality 
and as well as some custom jQuery and whatnot to allow for this information to specifically pull from this particular case file. Um, so there's some jQuery and the new forms for these particular um, uh, list items. And so when you click here, it basically knows exactly which uh, case to point to. This is a bit of jQuery there. Um, and it's, in, it's, it's all housed within this particular SharePoint solution. Um, so that's pretty much the main piece of the case management system. And so I'm going to quickly show you the synchroniz synchronization piece to that. So if you recall, we pretty much have about maybe five cases here in total. And so how the power pivot functionality works, the synchronization works, is if I minimize this and I go to my Excel document, what this Excel document does is it basically synchronizes to the very list that I just showed you. So the list that has all the case files. So what you're going to see is you're going to see a power pivot table and a chart, and it's going to have the exact same information as you see in, as you saw in SharePoint 2013. And so what I'm doing is, again, I originally created this in 2010. So using Power Pivot for 2010, and then I upgraded it to Power Pivot for uh, 2013. And pretty much the magic is here. Once you create a data sheet file and connect that data sheet file into, Share, into Excel, Excel will then take that data and use that data sheet file and start synchronization automatically. Um, so pretty much these are all, this is where the magic happens. Uh, this is the data file that I've created from SharePoint. Um, once we enable Power Pivot, this functionality becomes available. And essentially, this is where the magic happens and where the synchronization occurs. And so I can just close this down. And um, so what we can do is we can quickly create a new case file. You're going to see this. You're going to see this Excel spreadsheet automatically increase from five to six. Um, so what we can do is we can create a new one. So I'll just quickly go here and click on um, open new case. But before I do that, I'll just sign in as a different person. Yeah, so what I got to do is I actually have to uh, return or get back the sign in as a different person. And uh, in SharePoint 2010, they got rid of that functionality to sign in as, sign in as a different person. Uh, but I'm going to just return or get that information back. Uh, right now, just a simple adding back a adding back a tag back into the uh, welcome that ASCX. Um, so I believe it's right here, and that, that what this is going to do is going to basically add back that sign in as a different user functionality. Just going to highlight the code. Basically, all I want to do is, is I just need to add it right before the ID request access. So what I do is I just add the tag here. And just save that. And I believe. I need to refresh this. And once it's refreshed, and if I click here now, I should see sign as different users. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in as a different individual and create a new case file. And again, what's happening in the background is this case file information is being kicked off, is kicking off a workflow. That workflow is then creating a document set for us. And so once that workflow is created, then we will be able to 
um, access or open up a document set and then start adding documents and such. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my all cases now. And here is my new case that was created via the workflow. And I can click on it and as you can see it just pretty much looks like all the other case files and again we can open it up or go into the case details and add discussion or tasks and things of that nature uh, but the main purpose of why we created the new case is to see the new or see it automatically be updated in the Excel spreadsheet so I'm going to go back to the Excel spreadsheet and as you can see as before it was five now it's six um, so pretty much how it works once again is using SharePoint 2010 um, Power Pivot, SharePoint 2013 Power Pivot, and it's synchronizing um, from the Excel spreadsheet um, or from the library in SharePoint to this Excel spreadsheet. And uh, pretty much that's the uh, two things that I designed for two individual clients, um, but for this demo I, I put them together just to make it more concise but um, I hope you found it interesting if anyone wants this case file solution uh, I can definitely give it to you it's um, I can just save it as a uh, WSP and then you can get it and if you want any further information on how I did the power pivot synchronization and whatnot just let me know and I'll definitely be very happy to help you okay thank you hope you enjoyed goodbye